You're watching InfoSec Bytes, a flash course in information security for journalists. We're based at the Centre for Investigative Journalism in London and supported by the Logan Foundation. This is a tutorial on how to install and use Tor Browser, a specialized browser that uses Tor to allow you to surf the internet anonymously. This video is provided for information only. It cannot replace the advice of a trained security professional. If lives or safety depend on your security, please seek the advice of an expert. This is a video on how to install Tor Browser on a Mac computer. If you have a Windows computer instead, you can click or tap on the pop-up message and then choose the Windows video to watch that. There is also an overview video explaining what Tor is and how it works, which you can access in the same way. If you want to keep watching this video, stay tuned. Before you go any further, you should know about the security limitations of OS X. Apple does a lot of work trying to keep OS X secure from viruses and exploits, but the system is not designed for maximum privacy. A lot of its features can undermine or compromise your privacy, like quietly sending your spotlight search queries and location to Apple, or secretly saving your open documents to the cloud. This tutorial is provided to show you how to browse the web anonymously by using Tor Browser, but Tor Browser doesn't solve all of OS X's problems. If you're a journalist working on sensitive material, OS X might not be suitable for your needs. You may want to look into using an operating system that has been designed with security and privacy in mind, such as Tails or Cubes or Subgraph. Keep an eye out for InfoSec Bytes videos about these systems in future. We're going to download and install Tor Browser first. Now, we're assuming that you're not in a situation where simply downloading the Tor Browser will mark you as suspicious. You're about to visit the Tor Project website to download the software. If you live in a country where using Tor is illegal or likely to identify you to the authorities, you must remember that this first step, downloading the Tor Browser, is not protected by Tor because you don't have it installed yet you should check whether it is legal to use Tor in your country before you use it, just to make sure that the mere fact of using it won't place you in harm's way. We're going to assume that you want to go ahead. Open your normal browser. It can be Safari or Firefox or Chrome. It doesn't matter. In this case, we're going to use Safari. Go to the Tor website. So type in torproject.org and press Enter. The Tor Project website will load. You can read all about Tor on here if you want, but we want to download the Tor browser. So click here on Download Tor. It will detect that you're using a Mac and offer you the Mac version. If for some reason it doesn't show you the Mac version, it should give you the option to go to the Mac versions over here. You'll also notice this link to the SIG or signature for the download. This allows you to verify that your download is genuine, making sure someone hasn't given you a fake version of the software. To keep this tutorial simple, we're not going to go into signatures, but you can click on What's This to read all about how to use this feature if you want. Click on Download Tor Browser. Safari should start to download to your Downloads folder. So wait while the download finishes. Once it's downloaded, head to your Downloads folder. Find the torbrowser.dmg file. It should begin with Tor Browser. Double click it. It should mount the .dmg file as a drive and then open a window like this. To install Tor Browser, just drag the Tor Browser icon over to the Applications folder like this. Once the files have been copied, you can close this window and then eject the Tor Browser drive. You can also now delete the Tor Browser .dmg file. Now go to your Applications folder. You can find it in the left column of the Finder window. Find Tor Browser in the folder. Now drag the Tor Browser icon to the dock. From now on, whenever you want to launch Tor Browser, just click on this icon in the dock. The first time you launch it, it will ask you if you are sure you want to open it, since it has been downloaded from the internet. We're going to say yes. Also the first time you launch Tor Browser, you will see this startup screen. It asks you to choose between making a direct connection to the Tor network or to use an alternative method of connecting to Tor. Basically, you would need the second option if you live in a country or institution where Tor is blocked, 
or in a situation where it would draw attention to you to connect directly to the Tor network. The second option requires some technical know-how, such as how to configure a Tor bridge relay, which necessitates that you actually know of a bridge relay, so this is something we're not going to go into in this tutorial. But if you think you might need to do this, the wizard will direct you to some instructions which will be of help. We're just going to choose the first option, which is, I would like to make a direct connection to the Tor network. So we're clicking Connect. You'll now get this little Tor status window, as Tor connects to the Tor network and starts up. Sometimes this takes a little bit of time, so be patient. And eventually, you'll see this screen. This is the Tor Browser home screen. You'll see this screen every time you start up Tor Browser. You're now using Tor Browser. And if you've ever used Firefox, it will be very familiar to you, because Tor Browser is actually based on the code of Firefox and works in a very similar way. Use it as you would another browser. Type addresses in here, browse web pages, and click links, all as normal. Let's just have a look at Tor working and successfully masking your IP address. From the home screen, there's a link to Test Tor Network Settings. Click that, and it will take you to check.torproject.org, which is an address you can always go to to check if Tor is working or not. There we see, congratulations, this browser is configured to use Tor, and it will tell you the IP address you appear to have, the one that you've been given by Tor. As a test, let's put Safari side by side with Tor browser and compare in order to see Tor working. So let's go to check.torproject.org in Safari. Now, we've censored this IP address because it's ours, but take it from us, they're different. The normal browser on the right shows the real IP address, whereas the Tor browser shows a new anonymous IP address. And as you can see, Safari fails the Tor check, whereas Tor browser does not. You can even check where the IP is by going to a site which geolocates your IP address. And as you can see, the real IP address is in the United Kingdom because that's where we're filming this video but the Tor browser is clearly accessing the site from an exit node in Switzerland, because it is a Swiss IP address. As a matter of fact, on Tor browser you can actually routinely change your IP address whenever you want. To do this, click on the little onion icon here. You'll see two options. The second one, New Tor Circuit for this site, will keep all of your tabs open and stay on the site you're on, but will refresh your Tor Circuit. So, as we keep pressing that, you'll see that the IP address changes each time. The first option, New Tor Identity, is a bit like that, but it completely closes all of your tabs and starts Tor Browser again with a new IP address. Use this if you want to wipe the slate clean, log out of anything you're logged into, and use Tor Browser completely fresh. You might want to do this, for instance, when you've just logged out of a web account and want to log into a different account but don't want to use the same IP address because you don't want to correlate the two accounts. Also in this menu is security settings. In here, Tor has a little slider that allows you to ramp up the security settings on Tor browser for extra protection. By default, it's at the lowest setting, but if you're concerned, you can slide up to progressively enhance the security of Tor browser. This normally entails turning off support for a bunch of different web technologies, like JavaScript which make the web more usable, but which can be used to compromise your anonymity. If you go to high security, certain things you're used to on the web, like playing videos on YouTube, might become a little less convenient. And also in this menu is an option to check for Tor browser updates. You can click on this to check if there's a software update. The developers of the Tor project are constantly updating the code for Tor browser to make it more secure and to add new features and fix software bugs. So you'll want to keep your Tor browser up to date to keep it secure. If your Tor browser is out of date and needs to be updated, you will also be informed of this on the Tor browser home screen, which is the first thing you see when you start it up. If you're told you need an update, click on the onion icon and then click on Check for Tor Updates, and the wizard will automatically download the updated version of Tor, and when it's finished, it will prompt you to restart the Tor browser so that it can apply the update and launch you into the updated version. Click on Restart Tor Browser to do this. You'll see the update process take place, and then Tor Browser will start again and give you a screen like this, telling you that Tor Browser has now been updated and giving you a list of the changes that have been made in the update. 
there are a bunch of do's and don'ts to using Tor Browser, such as don't use browser extensions or plugins because they can give away your identity, and do use the HTTPS versions of websites to make sure that your data remains private as it traverses the Tor network, and don't open documents you've downloaded using Tor unless you're absolutely certain they are safe because some documents can connect to the internet outside of Tor and thereby give away your IP address. Also, throughout this tutorial, to get the best possible view, we've been using Tor Browser full screen, but for maximum privacy, it is recommended you use Tor Browser without resizing the window. These guidelines and more are explained in much more detail on the Tor Project website, and we recommend you read them thoroughly before doing anything too adventurous on Tor Browser. But now that you're up and browsing the internet anonymously with Tor Browser, that's it for this tutorial on Tor Browser for Mac OS X. If you want to watch the Tor Browser for Windows tutorial, or if you would like to watch the overview video on what Tor is and how it works, click or tap on the pop-up message and choose your video now. Thanks for watching InfoSec Bytes. If you found this video useful, please share it widely with your colleagues and co-workers. To support the Centre for Investigative Journalism with a donation, please visit tcij.org forward slash donate. And if you would like to watch our other videos, please go to infosecbytes.org or subscribe to our channel below.